So we are going to make microwave risotto today. It is a basic microwave risotto, super simple, and you have the basis of how to make risotto in the microwave, and you can add any herbs and veg along the way. So you wanna grab a microwave safe bowl, and what you will do is you will combine, I like to put the butter on the bottom. Um, I've mentioned this all the time, but especially during the holiday season, I like to leave a couple sticks of butter out three tablespoons of butter, one cup of chopped onions, and one garlic clove. I'm actually surprised I only did one. I generally go a little bit cray on the garlic. This is microwave safe. We're gonna cook on high for three minutes. Okay, came out steaming perfectly. The butter worked, made the onions translucent. The garlic is fragrant. We are going to add it's one cup of Aborio rice. So you want short grain, round rice. It's perfect for risotto. So I have one cup. I'm gonna sprinkle it over. And then I personally have a cup of frozen peas. You could add mushrooms here instead. Um, other vegetables totally skip on it. Um, substitute with different cheeses. But for us today, we're adding peas. And then over everything, we pour the broth. So I'm gonna stir this all together. It really is very important that you cook the broth. You heat it up before adding it to the rice. That is a major, major pro tip, both in regular risotto and microwave risotto. We're gonna cover it tightly and cook for six minutes on high. So we have rice, garlic, onions. Our choice was vegetable today, aborio rice and vegetable stock and it is going right into the microwave. Oh yes, look at that, yum. So overall, I would say the flavor is as if you are making it stove top. We're gonna pour three quarters of a cup of white wine in, and for its last round, it is going back into the microwave for 10 minutes on high. Look at this right out of the microwave. It looks awesome. I'm actually really happy I added the peas. Now it's time to dress it up and serve it, guys. A quarter of a cup of Parmesan cheese. And I, I just cut up a bunch of parsley every time. I'm gonna do a big handful now and save the rest to top with. Can you even? <laughs> Can you even believe this was in the microwave? All right, so let me break this down for you. Love the wine. The white wine, I think, in all risottos is super important. Absolutely beyond. The Parmesan, super sharp, I think, especially to combat the wine. The wine is really bold. The cheese is really bold. Onion and garlic. This recipe called for one clove. I would do like three next time. I could always handle more garlic. I did top it off with some fresh parm, but I don't think that's a must because that the fresh parm on top didn't melt, but I do parsley and parm right on top. I think this is delicious. I would love to know if you try this. And if you're a skeptic and you try it, I would love you to comment and let us know what you think. Enjoy. Happy holidays, guys. See you soon.